Okay, so let's talk about what, what began this tension between the Paiutes and the Whites. Why was it so tense, so tense that they ended up going to battle? Caitlin? Because the Indians found out that the Whites, the William brothers, um, kidnapped two of the Indian sisters and uh, abused them and hid them. Okay, let's go back even further. Why did the, why did that happen? Why was there that tension between the white settlers and the Paiutes before the kidnapping? Remember what caused that tension to begin with? Pablo? Um, the, uh, the whites were disturbing the Paiute Indians and it was very late and they were taking all their food and, and um, uh, um, saying that it was their land now. You remember that? Okay, Arthur? Um, the, the whites were taking all of the, the Native American food sources. Excellent. Mario? So, uh, the whites also authorized the land. Mm -hmm. Did you hear what Mario did? Yeah, he used one of the new vocabulary <laughs> words, monopolize. Are we comfortable with that word? Yes. Monopolize the land. Okay. Excellent job. Um, before we read something new, let me ask you one more question to discuss. Um, the whites had an idea about the Paiutes. They, they had an idea. They thought they, they had a judgment about the Paiutes. Do you remember what they thought about them? Jonathan? That the whites said that it's going to be easy to defeat the Paiutes. Yeah, the whites thought it would be easy to defeat the Paiutes. Why? Do you remember what they thought they were just... Just mere, mere diggers, mere diggers, and they weren't savvy at, at battle, okay? Were they right? No. They, it was a stunning surprise. Okay, good. So we just discussed. You're showing me that you're comprehending the Pyramid Lake War through that discussion, and also your discussion further helps you understand. Show me your comfort level, please. Show me your level of understanding with the Pyramid Lake War so far. Just quick flip and put it down in the corner, please. Show me your level of understanding. Great, I'm, I'm hoping to see a lot of yellows and some greens. Looking good, thank you very much. Excellent job, thank you. Okay, kiddos, let's head into our complex text. And what makes this text complex? New vocabulary, lots and lots of new vocabulary. Okay, so let's go to page, and we need numbers on this, don't we? Let's go back to page six. That begins with the survivors skedaddled. Okay, I think that's six. The survivors skedaddled. The survivors ski daddled. I want you guys to reread this page. We, we started with this yesterday. I want you guys to reread this page and then we'll do some more discussion on this. Okay? Okay, so now we're going to focus on our next learning goal. I can find answers to text-based questions in a complex text by returning to the text and discussing the content. We're also going to be discussing it. Okay, so what are you understanding about this page? What happened? Show me your level of understanding on the card for this page. Okay, Carmen, what happened? Um, the, um, the survivors of the white they skedaddled um, uh, back to their settlement, and um, and they panicked because the other whites died from the war. Okay, and we made uh, some connections to what that might feel like. If you have survivors rushing back to your home and telling what happened. And do you think, what do you think their, uh, 
their perspective was? How do you think they, they told the story? Arthur? They probably said, um, the pines are Do you think they told the truth and said, well, we were going to attack them and they were just smarter and no. tougher? They made a lie. I think that they said um, the pines are the pines are um, the pines are the pines are the the pines thought they were so weak. The whites probably came back saying, oh, they hurt us. They, um, they killed uh, much of us. They, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Good. Any other ideas about that?